All right, man. So we back again with another reaction. We're gonna do um Big Doe TV because he got the the smaller clip to this that I was looking for. So we're just gonna react to it off his uh channel. All right. So basically, we got in all reality, I don't really even I don't even like saying poetic Flocka. I mean, if you want to say anything that's poetic about him, I'm I'm assuming his stuttering and how long he takes just to say one word. But um. Nah, so we we got uh not even gonna say poetic. We got flocker because all he's doing is flocking out the mouth. Um, basically just saying, Kendrick Lamar didn't do shit for for L.A. Like he he ain't bring nobody together type shit. Like I didn't know that was the whole point of not like us was to fucking do something for L.A. I didn't know that was to put that was supposed to stop the violence or some shit. I thought it was a rap beef between. Uh, a LA nigga or a Compton nigga versus a, a Toronto or Canada nigga. But then again, we got the we got the most glazing nigga other than Act Poetic over here. Loved him some Drake meat in his mouth. The rap West Coast savior and brought gangs together to show unity. Nigga, no, those gangs were already united. He ain't do a goddamn thing but bring up his own homies. Oh! Hey, 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 hey. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Goods. XY. Listen, I wanted to react to this video. Listen, interview by Art. Obviously, great interview by Art. I don't even know why Art don't got a bunch of additional subscribers. That man should be getting more subscribers than he got right now because he did a great interview. He got a great little setup. Go ahead and subscribe to that man. Got some dope content. But we are gonna talk about Poetic Flacco. Poetic Flacco is like an honorary member of the Glaze Unit. Glaze Unit! Poetic Flacco would love to be a With part of the Glaze hands. Unit, but he's not like quite there yet. Aww. You know what I mean? He like one of those people that want to be on the unit, but they like, eh, nah, you need a little bit more training, dog. That's where Poetic Flacco is, dog. Um, And basically, he's on this interview, and he has some interesting things to say about Kendrick. Now, first of all, we all know Poetic Flacco is a Drake fan. He's a Drake OVO guzzler. He's part of that team. He hates anything that has anything to do with L.A. politics. But let's go to the video, man. And let's see if this guy annoys y'all. If it's the first time y'all listening to him. There's enemy gangs, right? However, like, for example, if you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know for a fact. Uh, Flocka. Thighs be rubbing when he walked, bro. That nigga probably bought, That nigga probably got baby powder between his legs. <laughs> To stop his ass from chafing, uh, chafing, chafing. Uh. We're let's say orange, right? In the sixties, right? Well, that's probably this nigga just twerk. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna need you to not twerk in your seat, dog. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. We have to try to have a serious conversation. You can't be twerking in your seat, dog. God, leave, man. Sad, right? Right for me, cause orange is Hoover, and the sixties are enemies of the Hoovers, right? So what right. Kendrick did was, is he just brought various factions of gangbanging and on stage. He ain't bring no direct enemies and made them squash it and piece it up, right? Bro, these were niggas that already got along. Nah, bro, I gotta stop you on that, dog. Now, this All is right. the problem I be having with people, bro. People be looking at things from the surface and they don't really dig into what they talking about. I understand the point he's trying to make. He's basically trying to say that Kendrick did not piece up LA gangs. Kendrick did not bring gangs together. Kendrick did not do any of that. Now, the problem with that is that's not what Kendrick said he did. Yeah, see, I was just about to get onto that right there because I was finna say like, bro, Kendrick literally just did a pop out like it's like a fucking block party. It's like a fucking house party, nigga. Whoever said who when did the hell did he say, hey, I'm doing this pop out to protest for the peace or or for the violence that's going around. That never came out out of Kendrick's mouth. That that was never the 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 whole point. If you think about it, when Kendrick did the fucking pop out, bro, it was it's it's like a fucking block party. It's like a house party, bro. Like, you get me? Like, hey, bro, like, yeah, listen, 
um, bring your own liquor type shit, nigga. We out here, we vibe, and we gonna be listening to not like uh, we gonna be listening to a couple of my uh, my fingers, a different a third. That's what I got from it when he did the pop out. It wasn't to tie no flag. It wasn't to like no. To be real with you, instead of Pac, instead of Flocka talking about oh he ain't do nothing for the youth, you should have just been talking about YG when he did the the uh what was it the peace walk. When they were just walking around, that's what YG literally said he was doing. It was a peace walk or a gang walk or some shit. You feel me? Like flag tie. He said that himself. Meanwhile, Kendra just said, listen, we, we having a pop out, nigga. Pop out. Stupid. Kendrick never came out and said this show, this pop out show, is about uniting gang members. Where the fuck y'all getting that information from? This is why people like this is dangerous, bro. People like this is dangerous for media, um, any type of commentary because you literally just sitting here saying this shit as if it's fact. Kendrick did not say that this was what he was doing. Was that the visual perception? Yeah, it was the visual perception because people looked at that show and saw the gang members on stage together, allegedly gang members, saw them on stage together, and they assumed that this was, hey, look, look. All right, like he said, assume, assume gang members, you feel me? We just gonna run it with that. But if that's what you wanna say, even like fucking 95% of the whole state of California is the gang bang, um, matter of fact, put it this way, isn't, isn't like what, 95% of California is a game bang, uh, state? Who is, like, who, who the hell lives in Cali that's not affiliate? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people, but you're trying to, you're basically, just because you've seen a whole bunch of affiliated getting on the stage with Kendrick, that, so you instantly took that as in, oh, he he was doing a protest? He was doing a peep test? Look at the unity. They're all together. Kendrick ain't say, yo, pop out to the unity show. <laughs> what, are you, what are we talking about, man? There were no direct enemies and on that stage. Meaning, bro, Kendrick it ain't bring, you know, like like uh, Ralphie the Plug and Munchie B and on stage and made them squash it for unity. No, right, bro? As he brought niggas who, who were already cool, friends, collabing already, you feel me? And had them dance on stage. Oh! But Kendrick Lamar painted this into... Yo, we're doing a unity for LA. Bro, y'all hear this shit? Kendrick painted this into a we doing a unity for LA. When did Kendrick say that, dog? When did he say that? This is the problem I have with people, man. When did he say that for you to assume that this is what this show was about? You can't say it because he didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> he never said anything like that. This was a pop-out show. Yes, it was on Juneteenth. Yes, but it was a pop-out show. It was not marketed as the LA gang unity show. So where are you even getting that from? But obviously, this is the angle that you choose when you want to create your narrative and create a different talking point. You create this angle to make it seem like he was doing a show and calling it something that it ain't. Yo, bro, I'm solving the gang violence. I'm solving the gang beefs. But not one beef was solving that stage, nah, bro. Nah, that never one came out if it's off. Oh, my God. We can't, I can't let you say that. He Thank you for the pushback, bro. Please push back on this, bro. I know this is the largest shit, but please push back on this, dog. Whether you fix roofs, move boxes, or light up the room, Google Local Services ads makes it easier for customers. Dog. Please. I, 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 he didn't I, I, say I'm know. solving gang violence. I'm solving. I'm but solving gang. Fault, no, no, no. That, the, that represent, the representation matters, Flacco. Like it being does able, not. being yes, it does. That's Why? how. That's how shit change. That's how you shift culture. But but those are no, all friends, that, though. That's how you shift culture. There's a reason why outrage marketing happens, right? Okay. Because they want to test the temperature. They uh, want to yeah. see if people still care about this type of shit. I'm getting distracted. My bad, y'all. Y'all know I get distracted, but. What the hell are those, bro? What the hell? What, what the hell are those shits Flacco got on his feet, bro? Marketing works. Yeah. Regardless of what you think, marketing works. Okay. Presenting on a stage like that with millions of people watching, millions mm -hmm. of people or thousands of people in attendance, so, sure. it's important to see that representation that wow. 
that those color can exist together on stage, regardless if it's deep, if it's if there are guys who are deep, deep, deep in the streets. It could be that yo, you have a prominent voice in LA or in that culture or yeah. in this game. You know, pull up. Is that possible? Can y'all make this happen? Yes. I right, cool. You can come. But if you are in LA and from LA, then you already know that those colors can exist because people are friends and on that stage. I mean it right. Like it doesn't matter if you're a crip or you're blood. Listen, right? I mean, we don't know that though. We're, we're, it's, no, 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 no. See, look, right? Look, it's the people who are outside of LA, I guess, will somewhat like confused, but bro, 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 listen, right? So look, bro, look, bro, look. There are Chris factions, right? Oh! Who hate each other more than they hate. Like, here, right? Here, right? Here, right? My I swear this this shit that be pissing me off with blow it, but flocka, bro. The nigga sound like a fucking ten year old trying to tell you a story. It takes forever, god damn it. Nigga keep saying bro, 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 bro. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh. Yeah, please get to where you get into, dog. You done took like fifteen turns. And you taking these turns, but what you saying not really making no sense, dog. You know when a nigga take too long to fucking respawn, they're trying to figure out a lie. They're trying to think of a lie. So we're going to sit here like, bro, bro, uh, 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 and we're th trying to think of a fucking lie. You feel me? I, I feel like that. that's where it, that's where it's going. Like, come on. Look how long it takes this nigga just to get the first fucking sentence out of his mouth. So that should just tell y'all, like, he's just trying to think of a lie right off the bat to, to, to block uh, what Art is saying. Dog, you really just talking, dog. I hate this shit, man. Golly. Get to where you're trying to get to because we know you're trying to spin some type of narrative because you don't want to hear anything else. It is a fact that the beefing happens within the flag then cross the path, meaning this, right? Crips beef with Crips more than Crips beef with blood, right? Mm -hmm. And the people on stage were not direct enemies, right? So if you're in LA that you know, bro, like you ain't do nothing, nigga. Like blood members being on stage with Crip members, bro, does nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right, like you know, like it's a normal thing, like to see a blood member and on back on fig doing content, right? Mm -hmm. It's a normal thing to see CEO Wacko on community doing, right? Like Crips and Bloods live in LA and they are in harmony all the time. It's there's neighborhoods who are beefing with each other. Now, if he really wanted to do something and show unity, bring those neighborhoods that are beefing with each other mm -hmm. and have them raise up a flag and dance together. Oh, this is my problem with this dude. Man. My bad, though. I don't mean to keep cutting you off. But, Flocka, if you want to twerk on a nigga, just say you want to twerk on a nigga, bro. That's, at this point, that's what it just sounds like. You, you just want to twerk on a nigga. Uh, listen, it, but you see how people spin stories and spin narratives like you see how this gets spun this literally went from kendrick doing a pop-out show to kendrick now being the guy that gotta bring all the gangs and the factions together like bro how do how do you even think that it works that way and why is it that kendrick has to be the guy to do that when has kendrick ever said that that was his mission to bring all these people together like you gotta understand street shit street shit just becomes street shit if there's an opportunity for two factions to get together together and not beef anymore ain't no concert doing that shit there's like years and years of shit going on between them you think it's gonna be squashed at a concert because somebody said hey jump on stage with me and be nice that's why people that ain't from nowhere can't speak on shit. because you start saying dumb shit like this flaco you sound real stupid right now and real green behind the ears dog he didn't do that so what he did was though and he did the safest pr mastermind and manipulation ever mm -hmm. by bringing random gang members on stage <clears throat> and having art think oh my god Kevin Lamar. this nigga just too infatuate infatuated with fucking gang member that this one bro that that's just what i'm getting from it bro like you literally trying to take this nigga pop out to a fuck trying to turn into a protest like he should have been protesting he ain't protest like how do you do that like if you want to talk about him not doing that how come you ain't talking about drake how come drake ain't if drake got the biggest influence how come he's not in and in, in cali trying to promote uh stop the violence and shit how come you ain't think come on now our shows that this can coexist. Nigga, we bad knew this. Niggas wasn't beefing, mm. right? They're all friends and cool. But Kendrick Lamar, bro, you see, yo, and this is why, yo, before this battle happened, I said, yo, Drake about to watch Kendrick because Drake is just too crafty, too smart, too manipulative. Hey, 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 hey. I dare you to let me build you a completely free e-commerce store. Pre 
not knowing that Kendrick Lamar was the antichrist himself. Because the shit that he's pulling off on you niggas, man, is crazy. Because how do you... <laughs> Who is you niggas? <laughs> look, look, look. But what if I think that he's talking to a fucking 12-year-old or a 10-year-old? You're basically trying to brainwash somebody. You're trying to spin the narrative. You're trying to paint a picture that was never painted. Like dead ass, bro. Like I don't know where art from. So let's just say, let for example, let's like for example, for example, I could be wrong, right? Let's just say art is from Cali, and he knows all the politics and and everything, right? Right? It would have been too hard to convince him on what you're trying to say. Like Kendra didn't do that. This like he didn't do this or the third, and that's why he said, bro, it was never supposed to be a protest piece. He did a, like I said, it was like a block party, house party type shit, bro. Nigga, I'm on stage feeling myself. Y'all hop up on here too, nigga. Come do some, uh, some crip walk, some blood walk, some affili affiliated type of walk type shit. You feel me? Like, come do all that. But if Poetti was talking to a, a, a small minded person or a, 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 a 16 year old, 17, uh, 17 year old, you could probably convince them, like, yeah, you're right. He, he didn't really do that. That already happened. No, bro. No. Listen, bro, what what shit? The truth? Bro, listen. <laughs> they don't like that, man. The truth ain't what they want to hear, dog. They want to be coddled. They want to be pacified, bro. Well, no, right, nigga, look, right now he convinced the masses, who's probably uh, the not truth? from LA, because bro, he convinced the masses, right? The hundred million people watching that Amazon stream, bro, he convinced them that he was the rap West Coast savior and brought gangs together to show unity. Nigga, no, those gangs were already united. He ain't do a goddamn thing but bring up his own homies. And what you missing here, dog, which is the biggest piece of this, is that Hendrick probably got real connections, real relationships with people that he grew up with. This is the difference that you don't see with the Drake. Who the fuck Drake gonna bring on stage? All the OVO nicks? This is a whole bunch of LA people. This is why they popped up at the video the way they did as well. Because he got real connections, real relationships. Drake cannot do this, dog. Drake could bring up OVO on stage. He could bring up the whole entourage. But where are the real relationships, man? The ones that are not transactional. Or do any of those exist? Now you upset at Kendrick Lamar for bringing the city out, for having the whole city pop out. And now that he has the whole city pop out, now it's some deliberate ploy, some act that he put on to make it look like he unified everybody. Y'all is wild, man. The lengths y'all go in to like create different stories and narratives is insane. Look, man, these narratives that y'all spinning is crazy. Poetic Flacco is just one of those that just be spitting the crazy narratives. He one of those like do whatever for Drizzy kind of people talk whatever positive points for drizzy he's gonna be a drake fan because his idol who is academics is also a drake fan it's like a bundle package <laughs> so whatever direction he gonna go in that's the direction that he's gonna go in as well so i'm not surprised at these talking points i'm not surprised at him trying to spin this I'm not surprised at the angles he's taking. It is what it is, man. This is what they do. They go with these angles. They go with these talking points. And they try to make it look a different way to other people. But it is what it is, man. Let me know how you feel about talk. All right, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, bro. Like I said, I couldn't, uh, couldn't find the original. So I had to just... I had to go... <laughs> I had to pull a big though TV just to, just to get the the video bro because i was trying to figure out which part was he talking about but they didn't say it so with that being said i hope y'all fuck with the video and uh leave that like and subscribe you feel me follow your boy on twitch